Hi YouTube, it's Numistaka here, and today we're going to talk about grading Chinese medals, uh, what it involves, and whether it's actually a good idea at all. You can't have failed to notice that there's been a much bigger interest in Chinese medals and modern Chinese coins generally over the last few months. And, um, and maybe that's because the the quality and range of coins and medals available is as good as or better than it's ever been. We've got the um, the amazing and beautiful Panda Luna series, which is in its in second year, which had the goat and now the monkey, and then uh, imminently will be the rooster. We had the baby pandas from 2014, which were the prototypes of the metric panda range, uh, and then minted by the Shanghai Mint. We've had the Classical Garden series, we've had the beautiful and rare Dragon and Phoenix tri-metal medals, the various larger medals on heritage places and the Great Wall, we've had dinosaurs, so there really is something for everyone in terms of art concept, material, size and finish. But how about grading, slabbing, encapsulating, is this really worthwhile or indeed desirable for Chinese medals? Most medals are presented in a plastic capsule double wrapped in PVC and so it's difficult to fully appreciate them without at least taking off the PVC. Like coins, medals start to tarnish, particularly silver, when exposed to the atmosphere. Or, um, well it's a difficult issue really because if you keep them in the OMP then you don't really aren't able to appreciate them. Um, if you slab them, do you slab them at NGC or PCGS? Um, you know, let's take a look at the NGC holders. Uh, you've got the regular holder, which um, can have medals or coins, medals with a diameter of up to 45 millimeters. So that takes care of the lar of most of the one ounce and two ounce size medals. Then you've got um, the larger holder, which is another $25 when you pay for grading. And that can take a coin up to a regular kilo silver coin. So it fits most large medals. Um, so any medals, but any medals only over 45 millimetres and under about 80 millimetres look a little bit lost. And there is a mid-size holder available from PCGS, so medals in that just a little bit bigger category could, should probably be graded by PCGS. But um, let's take a look at what Chinese medals um, are suitable for grading and what, what the grading companies will actually grade. Well, you may have noticed that uh, the Chinese medals that you see graded have this designation at the top called Official Mint Medal. And um, generally, if they have been produced by one of the official Chinese mints, so uh, you've got Nanjing, Shanghai, Shenyang, and Shenzhen Gubao, any of those four mints are the officially designated Chinese mints. So if a medal has been produced by one of those kind of organizations and it has a COA that has the information about that medal, then generally the grading companies will um, go ahead and grade it and give it an official mint medal designation. Um, it does say in the notes for both PCGS and NGC that you have to have the OMP, um, sorry, not the OMP, you have to have the COA. Um, you have to, you can send it in any way you like, whether it's OMP or not, but you have to show them the COA. Now, I've sent medals in for grading to NGC and I've sent them without the COA and that's been fine, but they do say in their instructions that they can take your money for the grading and then reject the, um, the grading of the medal and send it back to you if you don't show them the COA for the medal as well. So it's something to bear in mind as well. So is it better to grade? It's a big question. Um, I'm sure that you can see a value improvement by grading. At least that's what I can see when I look at OMP and graded prices. I generally see that the value improvement is quite considerably more than the grading fee. I think buyers in the West are in some way suspicious of the authenticity of non-graded Chinese coins and medals. And this stems from the massive number of fake pandas on the market um, now and historically. Art medals do not tend to suffer in this way and can be relied upon generally to be authentic. Um, you know, for the most part, there may be exceptions to that uh, if they're kept and presented in 
OMP and you can see that the OMP is genuine. Um, so why grade? Um, you know, what are the reasons for grading? Well, it allows the metals to be handled and looked at with no damage, which is a big plus. Um, it removes physical contact and rubbing um, chances from the capsule coming into contact with metal high points. And um, sometimes the capsules do press down on the actual metal of the metal because of the high points of the design. And grading eliminates this chance and gives you much better chance of keeping the metal in good condition over the long term. Grading allows the bad quality metals to be weeded out and it's important for some ranges that are very quality variable in their OMP. And this includes things like baby pandas where for example the 15 gram baby panda is not uniformly great in terms of its uh, minting so you have to maybe watch out. Uh, I've put one in so far which didn't get a great grade but um, you know the the feedback that I've had is that you've really got to watch out to and only grade the good ones. So having graded them, it does allow sight unseen trading with a lot more confidence. People have more confidence buying coins from you because they know exactly what they're getting. Um, so you have the option of buying in the OMP um, and grading, or buying pre graded on eBay. Uh, the pre-graded medals on eBay do have a premium, but one does at least have the certainty of a particular quality standard when you buy the graded medals, even though they can be perceived as being a little bit expensive. Looks to me like Panda Lunas are grading very well, and there's a lot of 70s that have been given for those, and the standard of minting at Shenyang seems to be very, very good. Um, it seems that medals that are in silver, silver proofs or silver reverse proofs do pretty well. Brass and antique finishes, I think you've got to watch out. Uh, it's a little bit more, uh, bit of, it's a little bit more difficult to get good grades from those. It is said that NGC are tougher on the antique finishes um, than PCGS, but others have recently said that it may be changing now, and there's an argument for now moving those antique finishes back to NGC. Uh, I'm going to be sending two of the antique um, panda monkeys to NGC. Um, they look to me pretty perfect, so it'll be interesting to see what NGC grade them at. I think all you can do is make sure that you kind of pre-sort um, medals that you send to NGC for grading to make sure you only send the best possible medals. So I hope that's been useful, and I hope that it uh, gives you guys some encouragement to collect Chinese medals. Um, I'm very interested in this particular uh, area of collecting. I think it's got a lot of potential with the growth in the Chinese market and uh, big demand for these things in China. So there's a, a case for saying that you know eventually some of the things that you collect here in the West will find their way back to China and Chinese buyers will then buy them at higher prices. So we'll see. We'll see what happens over the next few years. Let me know what you think and please comment and like and subscribe.